Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is just uh, set up a table in our new database. So I'm back in uh, cPanel here, and uh, once again I'm going to go into MySQL databases. So I'll click here, and I'm back on that same page where I created my database user and added the user. If I scroll right to the bottom though, there's a link there, PHP My Admin. Now um, I'll click on that to open it. Now that's an interface that enables us to manage the MySQL database. Uh, it's often a lot easier than doing all the SQL code yourself. So uh, when you first come in, you have on the left hand side hopefully just the two databases, the default one that we've all got and the one we just created. So I'll click on Database News and eventually that will open up. And what we're going to do when that eventually opens, here we go, is we're going to create a table. And tables uh, are what store the information in a database. This is what's called a relational database, which means it's tabular. Now, before you do go ahead and create a table and set the number of fields, you need to plan that out quite carefully. So uh, I'm just going to jump out to Word for a second. And um, I'm going to create a table called News. And in that, I'm going to have four fields. Now, each item or news item that appears in here is going to have its own unique ID number. So the first one will be ID 1, 2, 3, and 4, and so on. Um, each article will have a headline, an author, and the article itself. All right. So I'll just return back. Here we are. So my table is going to be called News, and there were four fields. So I'll click on Go. Right, so this comes up now. So each row here responds, corresponds to a field. So my first one was news ID. And um, that's going to be an integer starting at 1 and auto incrementing. So every time something gets added, uh, the next, it will grab the next ID. So if there were five records in there, for example, and I added another um, news item, it would get the ID number 6. So I want that to be an integer. And the length is a number of characters. Now I'm I'm guessing, you know, in a big site, maybe I will go past 100 news items. So I want to go past two. So if I put in three there, that means I can go up to 999 news articles. Should be plenty, I think. Um, as I scroll along here, there's not a lot I need to do, but um, the last two changes are an extra. I need to set it to be auto increment, so that when we add items using web forms, it will automatically increment the ID number. And I want to set this as the primary key, so I just check um, the first radio button there. If I hover over, you notice it says primary. So I'll just return now to the next row. And the next one was the headline. And um, I'm going to leave that as varchar, which is, I guess, variable characters, so basically text. Um, the length there might be up to, say, 50 characters, and that's all I need to set for that. Uh, the next one was author. Again, it's just plain text. Hopefully, author's names aren't going to be longer than, say, 40 characters. And finally, the article itself. Uh, I'll set that to being quite long. I might make that 5,000 characters. So that's you have a reasonably large article. Now, you, you can come back and change these values later on if you find that that's not giving you enough or if it's too big. So uh, I'll do that. So I'll set all those. There are um, a lot of other data types there. And um, if you're interested in learning about any of those, probably date will be the most common one that you'll look at. Um, just come see me and I can go over that with you. This is only going to stick to some very basic stuff. So anyway, uh, once you've done that, click on Save. And the table has been created. And we get a little message at the top there saying it's been created. You notice you get this funny little bit of code here. Now that is SQL, and that's the language that we're going to use in the future to actually run queries on this database and insert, edit, delete articles, um, that sort of thing. And down the bottom here, you get a quick summary of what the table looks like. So there are our fields, data types. Um, you can see news ID, auto increment, um, and so on. So uh, that is how you create a table.